and I am walking directionally. If I press right mouse button and hold it, I will start strafe walking in all directions. And this is the entire setup you need to go through to make a uh, Kubelt Set Pro uh, work with uh, AJR Pro uh, plugin. Hello and welcome to the next episode of Advanced Blueprint Tutorials. In this episode we'll be working with Kubalt's Movement Animset Pro and I'm going to show you how to set up um, mocap animations with our plugin AGR Pro. Let's start by creating a character. So let's go into Blueprint, just make a character, call it BP um, Kubalt or just mocap character. Okay, let's open this character. And to prepare this character, we need to set the mesh. And to set the mesh, uh, we are already using one of the meshes uh, in the animation starter pack. So the mesh we are using right now, because we have more than one mannequin, is this one. It's the third person perspective mesh. So let's rename this skeleton so it's easier to find. And we're just going to call it AGR skeleton and this is just a mannequin skeleton nothing special about it I've changed its name so I, it's easier to find uh, inside the panel so we go back here we go into our movement I am pro we go into uh, mannequin mesh and we delete the skeleton because it's uh, well, let's just open it first let's see if it got anything custom well it, it really doesn't that's very good so what we want to do we just want to delete the skeleton and replace it with our AGR skeleton so replace references okay save everything delete this one um, yep replace references save and delete this one to be this one save everything now we go back into content right click and say fix up redirection in folder it will resave all the animations and everything that was referring to the deleted assets and it will unload from the memory all the assets that we have deleted this process can take even up to a minute okay once this process is done we can go back into the folder and we can select all the folders that we are not going to use so what we want to end up with is just the animations and blend spaces so delete everything and just force delete it source files cannot be deleted from uh, this level so we just have to show in explorer and just go one level up delete the entire folder and it disappeared from the project itself as well Okay, so now we have just the animations and the blend spaces. So let's look at what we have uh, right here. So we got this uh, strafe walking blend space, which is, um, uh, let's see the axis is from minus one to one, minus one to one, and it just goes in all directions. I see that something really strange happened to the IK bones. Uh, but nevertheless, it's bending quite well in all, in all directions. So it's not the typical one that you have uh, from minus 180 to 180 and velocity on the Y axis, but we can use this as well. Uh, and we got another object here, which is look around. And this is a two dimensional from minus 90 to 90 and minus 90 to 90 uh, aim offset. Okay. It doesn't have any blend. Let's change target weight to 8 for aim offset. Uh, it's this value. And for this, let's change the target weight interpolation to 4. And let's just save this asset. Uh, okay, so we're going to make a setup with uh, those assets uh, immediately. So let's open them here and let's go back to our examples blueprints and our mockup character so now that we open our character open full editor thank you okay we can go here 
select a mesh which is the mannequin and this is the not the rifle one it's third person mannequin this one you can go into viewport you know that he should be uh, minus 88 and minus 90 okay now he's facing forward um, there's one more very important thing for multiplayer we want to scroll down here go into optimization and want to change visible based anim tick uh, optimization and say always take pause and refresh bones this will make uh, the animations actually run on a dedicated server as well and we need to add AGR component which is the AGR anim master component We've added the component, we can set some uh, basic setups, so rotate to velocity, it's fine. Rotation speed 360, turn angle 91, uh, look at left 135, so this is all basic, let's set this maybe to, ah, one. Well, this is fine. Camera based, hand R and head, that will be our look at socket name. In runtime, we don't change any of those, and in debug we can just enable debug and we don't have any animations running on the character right now we also might want to change walk speed from 600 to let's say 360 max walk speed crouch will be half of that which is 180 and uh, let's change acceleration because this is a very big value let's say 1560 and the acceleration will be will be same as it was so the character is accelerating slower than he is decelerating okay uh, we got this character uh, already running what we need to do now is also copy the inputs and those are the basic inputs from third person uh, example so we go into our event graph uh, we can make a new graph called input paste it here and this character can be controlled right now uh, let's, let me create those variables and let's set them to the default value as in the third person character which is 45 for both of those and here we're not doing slow walks so we can just input this scale directly okay nothing special to it we still need a camera so we go into viewport we add a component uh, it is called and uh, the spring arm uh, the spring arm will be here and we're going to add a camera component to the spring arm let's make the field of view a bit smaller let's say 77 and let's set socket offset to something not very very big let's say y45 and uh, z would be uh, maybe 25 in the spring arm we want to set that the camera spring arm is not inheriting pitch yaw and roll from the character is actually inheriting uh, from uh, the controller so now if we hit play we can rotate the controls we can move the character and we can jump and he's not doing anything except following the movement component as we set it up so now let's uh, make an anim graph for this guy so what we need is create a new blueprint or we can just go into animations animation blueprint and we need to pick anim instance which will be um, AGR core anim instance this one and our skeleton is AGR skeleton so the one that we're using okay let's call it ABP underscore um, mocap core okay so this is our anim graph and we're going to set it as default for this character here okay so whatever we do in this anim graph uh, it will have effect on, on our animation in the character itself so let's open this uh, one okay it has nothing if you go here uh, and remember to select show inherited variables you will see all the variables from uh, agr component so uh, now what we want is to run this strafe walking blend space here somehow so he got this uh, walk right walk forward uh, two values and um, if they are zero zero the character is in idle right now uh, so let's do something about it uh, how can we do those variables is we can go here we can say that this should call parent function on tick and after calling the parent tag uh, function we can go into uh, movement 
we got the velocity, forward velocity, and straight velocity. So we get forward velocity and we get straight velocity, and we just divide it by a float of our max speed, which is 360. And we do the same for our straight velocity, and we just save it to a new variable. And this is the normalized forward, and this is normalized right. And we just set those two variables in here. And that's pretty much it, what we need. We go back to our anim graph and we just plug in our normalized forward to walk forward and our normalized right to walk right. Compile, save, go back to example map, hit play. The character is idling and he is walking in all directions using our animations with max movement speed set to 360 so this is the speed at which the there is no foot sliding when animating okay however we can see that in air uh, he's acting the same and right now we are just uh, moving directionally so let's quickly be able to switch to straight walking we go back to the character we go to even graph uh, and let's use right mouse button take our AGR and master component say setup and set up rotation so when we press the key our rotation becomes um, desired rotation and when we release the mouse button our rotation becomes rotate to velocity. We do not change any other of those options because those are the defaults we are using right now. So if I run the example now and I am walking directionally, if I press right mouse button and hold it, I will start strafe walking in all directions. And this is the entire setup you need to go through to make a uh, Kubold Set Pro uh, work with uh, AGR Pro uh, plugin. So this is just the basic setup that we have done in this video and we're going to build on top of this example in the next video. Thank you for listening. See you guys soon.